Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Oz with Tow Trucks, Cars, and Energy Drinks. And today I'm going to tow a vehicle with the self-loader. Uh, I had someone leave a message in my comments. They just kind of wanted to see the basic process of how to load a vehicle. So I'm going to do one with the self-loader real quick. Bear with me. I don't have a, a body harness. So one hand is going to be on the cell phone. One's going to be on the steering wheel. And another hand that I don't have is going to be on the PTO uh, or the actual controls themselves for the boom and all that so uh, it really helps if you have a backup camera because you can actually see what you're doing a lot better and uh, as you can see I got a little uh, Hyundai right there so you're gonna flick the PTO on first and foremost and as a rookie driver if you're starting out don't ever leave your PTO um, running you know as soon as you get the car lifted up and you're done uh, manipulating the, the lift and everything don't forget to flick your PTO off or you can burn up your pump depending on how it's wired uh, so you could go ahead and uh, this I'm using a dynamic 701 in a Cummins uh, 4500 short body so we'll go ahead and just start unfolding it as you can see right there she's unfolding and then you're gonna go ahead and start putting it down when I put it down, I always want to pull in a little bit. As you can see, I'm going to pull it in just a tiny little bit because that way it straightens the, um, I don't know if you notice, sometimes they, they don't uh, be straight, the actual uh, boom itself. So um, once it's unfolded, you can go ahead and start going down, you know, and you want to go down enough to where it just gets underneath the vehicle then hit it in a little bit more. So that way it doesn't rub. And the whole point of doing that is so you're not rubbing up against the ground because you can get especially with a dynamic because it's got a very very low load angle correct me if i'm wrong but i think dynamic is the lowest on the market so uh, at least the last that i heard so um you go ahead and start backing up ever so slightly i like to get just close enough to where um i can actually instead of backing straight into it uh, i'll get as close as i can and then i'll just go ahead and extend it outwards uh, until I see the car actually move and then um, I'll go ahead and close the jaws so Right there. I felt it move. So now I know that it's touched both wheels and uh, Once that happens you go ahead and you close the jaws up and just hit the close button right there uh, Depending on what system you have. So you just close it up One to and if you're not sure if it's closed It's okay just to bump it a couple times just to make sure it's closed because you don't want to lift it uh, with one of the jaws open that's happened to me before but then all you got to do is just kind of set it back down and then um, Close them again, and then it should be all right So bump it another time and then go ahead and just start lifting it upwards and Hitting the up button and then get it just so the headlights just start barely peeking over the bumper and then there I got it picked up so it's not a race uh, I know a lot of guys pride themselves in being fast, but you know as long as you keep it moving It's all good. You know, you don't have to be like turbo you know unless you're doing repossession so um you know my thing is just keep it moving and, and speed will come with it so as you can see right here i got it all wrapped around and everything and it was pretty easy you know it took me a couple minutes uh this particular car drove so um as you can see it was a pretty easy tow look this is literally what they had me towing it for just because the back end is um got some damage to it and they didn't want to drive it just so they could not get a ticket or whatever so once that happened i'm going to show you how to strap down a car and it actually took me a while to learn how to strap down a vehicle the correct way when i first started so um go ahead and take your um ratchet straps out and then um man this is tough to do with one hand so guys bear with me um okay let's see if i can set this down here so you guys can see I need to invest in a tripod here but like i said bear with me so Okay. Well, first things first, you're going to take your lasso strap just like this. Then you're going to take all the tapes and everything out of it. And then you're going to have this facing towards the outside, the hook facing towards the outside way. Go ahead, stick this in there, loop it around. Pull the slack out of it and come back over here and it's very very tricky to do this with one hand okay. then as you can see right here you're going to go ahead put it right in that hook right there just like that and then you're going to pull it over the wheel over up behind it the 
stuff like that. So look, I got that up in there. Then that goes in your little hole right there. Uh, if you have it more over to this side, if you have some JB extendable wheel extenders, um, you can use it to make the difference up. I got a video that actually shows those uh, plug for JP. So once you got it up like that, and then it's up over the top like that, um, just start cranking on it. And then that's it. That's literally how easy it is, just like that. And then look, that's how you strap it in. And then you're going to do that to both sides. And then, you know, put your chains on and everything like that, if applicable. But I already know you guys have, uh, know how to do all that, so you're gonna repeat the process. So basically you're gonna put your lasso uh, D shackle hook right there and then it comes right over the back side, swings over the top, and then you just tie it down and everything and get all this nasty slack out of there so it's not just dangling all over. I uh, can't really do it with one hand, so I'm just kind of showing you guys real quick how to do it. So um, that's it. Um, I'll put the hazard lights on, the lights on, the chains on, then it'll be ready to go. So I hope this video helps. And as always, please like and subscribe. Oz, Tow Trucks, Cars and Energy Drinks, Gianna's Towing, out.